Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be bringing you some Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Reflex Wii gameplay up on my channel. I've recently gone back to playing that game again just because recently the servers for Call of Duty 4 and the way they went down and then they went back up again. So I thought I may as well hop back onto Call of Duty 4, max up my um, Wii U Call of Duty 4 account just because it is on level 15 or it was on level 15. I'm going to take that account back up to level 4 so I can get my P90 really want to use that gun on Call of Duty 4 so that's what I have been doing recently and it's made me think even more about the NX having a different style controller and that is what we'll be talking about in this video so basically what I've been doing recently I've been going on Overwatch using a standard controller and then I'm going on to my Wii U through backwards compatibility I'm playing Call of Duty 4 on the Wii with the Wii Remote, I've got the best of both worlds. I've got, you know, playing a first person shooter with a standard controller, and then I've got the option of being able to play a first person shooter with a different style controller, which is better in my opinion. I do like to use the Wii Remote. I do think the Wii Remote is the best console controller for a first person shooter, but I've got the best of both worlds. I really do have that, and it's something which I really hope the NX has as well, and it seems like from what Tatsumi Kimishima has said, it sounds like to me that the NX will have a different style different style controller. Like the Wii Remote, like the Wii U gamepad, it will have something different. Um, and that will annoy a lot of people. I know a lot of people that want the NX just to be a flipping stronger console than the PS4 with just a standard controller. A lot of people don't want gimmicks, as they call it. People don't want something different. They want to use the same style control that they have been using for like flipping 20 years. Um, and if you look at it, you've got the new Xbox One, the new Xbox Scorpio, you've got the PS4 Neo, you've got PS4, you've got Xbox One, and you've got the Xbox One Slim. That's about five consoles using the standard controller. I know pretty much they're basically the same, those five consoles. When you look at it, it's just basically two consoles when you look at it. But you got five consoles using the same standard controller. Why do you want to add in a sixth? Seriously, why don't you want something different? Why do you want the NX? Because if the NX was just, you know, if it wasn't stronger than the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio, I don't feel like people would pick up the NX. I feel like a lot of people, you know, all they care about is power. And if the NX wasn't more powerful, would would people actually pick it up if it just if it just had a standard controller if there's no added extra reason there for to, for you to pick up the system if there wasn't anything unique about it like a different style controller would people actually pick up the NX if it was weaker than the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio and if you watch my recent NX Specs predictions video that is what I'm expecting from the NX I don't think it will be stronger than the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio because if you look at Nintendo what they have done with their previous hardware if you just look at the Wii U it was only slightly stronger than the PS3 and Xbox 360 and I think they'll be doing the same with the NX I think it will just be slightly stronger than the PS4 and the Xbox um, Xbox One and I think the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio will trump it obviously I hope I'm wrong I really do hope I'm wrong I'll love it if the NX was the most powerful system out there but I'm being realistic I'm being realistic about it you're not seeing me flipping go mental over some some of these rumors just because I know it'll blow back in my face it's like recently I, you know I, I was really salty about 
the NX not appearing at E3 just because that's what I expected to happen. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are expecting the NX to be more powerful than the PS4 and Xbox One, which I guess rightly so, just because it is a new console, you would think it would be you know, more stronger than the PS4 and Xbox One, but people are expecting it to be a flipping mammoth. It will be loads more powerful than the PS4 and Xbox One. It will be more powerful than the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio, and that is just not what I'm expecting. That's just my honest opinion. And like I said, if that did happen, if the NX did come out with a standard controller and it was weaker than the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio, you just have to look at the Xbox One, how you know that isn't really matching the PS4 when it comes to sales. Um, so I think if that did happen, then the NX, it, it would no way you know, out, out top the PS4. It definitely wouldn't do that. It wouldn't. It would struggle to get second place, in my opinion. So that is why I think you need something unique if it is weaker to persuade the masses, to persuade not just hardcore gamers, because I think hardcore gamers are stuck on the PS4, and I feel like a lot of hardcore gamers will just upgrade to the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio. I don't think they'll move over to the NX, especially now that it has a unique controller, and especially if it just had a standard controller and it was weaker than the PS4 Neo and the Xbox Scorpio. I don't, feel, I don't think gamers would actually pick up the NX, which is why I think... Nintendo and the NX that that should target the masses with something different, with something unique, because it works with the Wii remote. It worked with the Wii. The Wii is the most successful selling console of all time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so why couldn't they do it again with the NX? I know they failed with the Wii U with the Wii U gamepad, but I don't feel like it was the, it was the controller's fault. I think it was a problem with it with their marketing with the Wii U and the name of the system. That's where it went downhill for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just really pleased that the NX will have something different, and I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. Now, of course, if it's something stupid, if it's something ridiculous like flipping the HTC Vive, where you have to dedicate a whole flipping room to be able to play it, then of course I'm going to come out here and slag it off. That's what I'm going to do because that is completely stupid. My gaming room, or my yeah, my flipping room, where I play games, I, it's not a lot of space to it at all. I can't move around that much at all. So, if it was something like that, or if it was something like it was always online, um, if it was digital only, then yeah, I'll come out and slag it off. But if it's something different that I think would improve the gameplay experience for me, then you're going to see me get flipping hyped, flipping excited for it. You're not going to see me slag it off just because it's not just it's not a standard. It's, I can't flip in speed. It's not a standard controller. You're not going to see me slag it off just because it's not just a standard controller. It is something different. Um, so I'm pleased that it seems like the NX will be something different. But I know a lot of people will be mad about that, and I'm expecting a lot of soul when the NX does get revealed later on this year. And I probably will make a similar type of video later on down the year reacting to people reacting negatively towards that um, controller um, so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what it is um, but at the same time a little part of me is worried about whether it would actually improve the gameplay experience but I guess that is part of the risk of doing something different um, so and a lot of people will be concerned about third party support as well like would a controller be too different for the NX to have um, third party support I'm going to talk more about that in a separate video because a lot of people are expecting the NX to be a first a first party and a third party machine, which is completely stupid. It's, it's stupid expectation to have, in my opinion. Um, but I probably will talk more about that in a separate video. So this is related to what I have talked about on my channel, um, and I have made two videos talking about why I think the NX should have a different style controller. I'm just basically repeating what I've said in those two videos, but the fact that Tatsumi Kimishima was not only confirmed this once, back in December he did an interview with Time and he said the same thing again, that the NX will be a new way of playing games. It has me excited because it means that, you know, it means that we'll have something different, something unique, and who knows, it could be like the Wii Remote. And it's like the Wii U gamepad as well, a lot of people slagged that off, but... I love the Wii U gamepad for games like Splatoon with the gyro controls. I love it for RPGs like for Xenoblade Chronicles X where you can stay on the map. Oh, I've got to go there. I don't have to press the pause menu and I don't have to look at the TV screen. I can just look at my Wii U gamepad without pressing the pause menu. And, you know, it's just seamless. It's, you know, 
it doesn't mean that I have to keep pressing the pause button all the flipping time. What I'm trying to say here is that the stuff that they have done differently, it has improved the gameplay experience, which is why I'm looking forward to seeing what they will be doing with the NX, to seeing what they will do to improve our gameplay experience. I'm not close-minded, but then again, I know that a lot of people are. A lot of people will just slag off the NX because it is different. They won't see the fact that it probably will have a standard controller. It's like the Wii U. A lot of people... They don't take into account that you can play most of the games with the Wii U Pro Controller. They don't even bother. It's just some people are thick, if they're being completely honest. They don't, they don't know or they don't bother to know that the Wii U has a standard controller. You can play all your games with Wii U Pro Controller. You can play Smash with your Wii, Wii U Pro Controller. Mario Kart 8 with your Wii U Pro Controller. Hyrule Warriors with your Wii U Pro Controller. You know what I mean? The option is there. And I will talk about that, if the NX does have a standard controller, I'm going to flip in, make it obvious that the NX does have a standard controller. And if you're one of these people crying about the NX being something different, then you've got a standard controller there for you. That option is there for you if you don't want a, standard, uh, a flipping different controller. But yeah, I'm rambling at this point, and I will leave a link to those two videos in the top right, um, where I have talked more about this topic. But... I'm glad that the NX will be different. I'm looking forward to seeing what they'll be doing, and I'm just yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to see what you know what the gameplay experience will be like, how different it will be on the um, NX. Just because I've got I've got a standard controller from a PS4. If I want that, then I can play that. But if I want something different, then I can go to the NX, have a bit of fun with something different, something unique, spice up my gaming life pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm not going to slag things off. I'm not going to slag the NX off just because it's different. I'm not closed-minded. I'm open-minded. Um, and hopefully, a lot of people out there are as well. But I know a lot of people are unfortunately closed-minded. But that is it for this video. Leave me your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the two Modern Warfare Reflex gameplays that I have probably used in this video. Just because I'm rambling on for far too long now. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up button. Share this video out to fellow Nintendo fans as well. I'm sure they will be interested about this in, you know, in, interested about this topic. And let me know your thoughts. Actually, are you pleased that it seems like the NX will be something different? Tatsuya Kimishima has not only said it once; he said it twice now that the NX will have, you know, will be a new way of playing games. So, yeah, that has me excited. I'm looking forward to the NX reveal event. And I just can't wait to see what the flipping thing is now. I'm hoping that it's not the um, hybrid thing that everybody expects it to be. I want, I want, I want to be surprised. I want to be surprised in a good way, pretty much. So I have talked about that as well. I have done a NX theory video about um, it not being a hybrid system. So I'll leave a link to that video as well in the top right. You should see a card scroll at the top right around about now. But that is it for this video. I'm just rambling. Um, I think it's time for me to press that stop button, but yeah, I'll see you in my next NX video. Goodbye.